Hey y'all, this is Cindy. I'm the Tireless Tangler. Welcome to day 46, can you believe it, of the 100 Days of Zentangle Project 2019. I can't believe we have made it this far. Honestly, thank you all for coming with me on this journey. And today's tangle is Explode by Margaret McCarahan out of uh, Perth, Australia. And, or is it New Perth? I'm not sure, but she's in Australia. And um, this is very similar to a tangle we did not too long ago called Lichen. Now this starts very simply with a cross. Then you add your little flags, all pointing the same direction. Black them. Then you're going to do cross points and do this again with your flags pointing the same direction and blacked and then you just keep adding where you can these cross shapes and each time you make them a bit longer add your flags same direction all the way around and black them in and that's explode now they have an alternate step out here for a version with an aura so it starts absolutely the same way well she's wrong it doesn't start the same way I think I can make this work. I should have done it a little bit differently. The step out has this like so. Okay. And then in Hollabaugh fashion, we're going to add the, the uh, cross beams. So with an aura like that sort of <laughs> then you're going to put a longer one here at this point I will stop getting creative and I should probably point out that in the step out, I am doing this incorrectly. In the step out, she has this straight across at the top and down like this. I believe I am doing it intentionally incorrectly because I sort of like the other effect. But um, either one of these is going to do. So you may do whatever is in your heart to do. I think I'm quoting a movie or a book, but I have no idea which one. All right. The key to getting this correct is to start your, your second, um, figure along the line of the outside aura then your inner aura on the other one becomes the outer aura on this one like this 
Now once you get this going really good, oops, this is really going to become dense and I love density in my patterns and it really doesn't matter I don't guess how you do the tops of these I just kind of like them slanted in like that oops I got in a hurry and the more of these you put the more of these you put uh, the cooler this is going to look and I suppose you could even get so cool as to do that and leave a sort of draw through effect there. That's also another way to go. Or you could black it in. You know me. Make it your own, make it interesting. Because while mimicry is cool when you have somebody that you want to emulate, still make it your own. That one should have been longer, but you guys see where I'm going with this. Um, well, I'm finding my limitations here. You know, put, put more... Put more longer whoa well wow I pointed this one okay I'm gonna stop now anyway that's the Arad version now as far as the pattern today goes oh wait one more thing one more thing I owe um, my watcher, Judy Morgan, a, a great big sorry, because I sort of um, blew this off, because I sort of blew this off when we did Lycan, and uh, that wasn't really fair to her. She asked me in comments about drop shadows, and uh, I didn't realize we were going to have another pattern like this, or I probably could have put this off longer, but um, I want to reiterate that I am not an expert shader. I am not very good at shading, and um, so what I'm telling you now is sort of <laughs> secondhand information, and I do not promise that it is correct. I'm just telling you how I do it. There you go. That's my disclaimer drop shadows the way i understand it and again i cannot show you anything that i have learned from from my teacher but um on pinterest i've i've seen this dozens of ways so um basically you have a light okay and it's going to be shining at something okay and then we're going to want to shade this with a drop shadow say okay puppy dreams stop Simba it's okay it's okay and catch that cat in just a minute all right I should say something else shouldn't I squirrel you can catch that squirrel in just a minute <laughs> I'm awful aren't I all right drop shadows so if your light is hitting your object from here then the shadow is going to be over here and drop shadows are the kind that sort of if I understand it correctly have a small gap as if the light were coming down and well, I don't know don't ask me to explain it I just know that it works this way So if your light comes this way, then your shadows, 
if I understand this correctly, are going to be here. Now there are a couple of ways you can do this, I believe. You can um, shade it right up on here and then blend it out. Or you can leave a gap um, that, that uh, gives the impression that the light's in a different place. And that's uh, sort of what I did in the lichen um, tangle. Now, where did my... So you can handle them like this, although, uh, and I don't have my mono eraser over here, or I would take some of this out because this is really too, too thick of a shadow uh, for this thin little line. But this is the concept behind that uh, dropped shadow. And again, you can put these up where they're connected or you can leave a little gap there. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Um, I think for the Arid version, I may add a little bit of graphite here at that spot on each one, maybe, and a little bit here for overlap and then call it done. Um, if I have one of those situations like that. So let's see what we've got room for in the pattern today and we'll call it done. Okay. We're going to put explode right here. And Start with our, our auras. For pattern separation. And I, well, I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Thank you, little light. You are a constant joy. Stop that. Well, I just did that two different ways, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. All right. And now we're going to go out. Boy, we're not going to have room for much here. And I think I'm going to be okay with it. <laughs> This is also not going to be one of my favorites, I don't think. But that's okay. Oh my goodness. I had the courage to try it anyway. Y'all had the courage to watch me. <laughs> that should be worth something, right? I'm going to get maximum benefit out of my corners here. Because I may only be able to fit about two in here. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Hopefully I'm still in frame. I can no longer see what I'm doing. Um, let's see, we're going this direction. I am not 
not sure I'm going to have room for any more. We'll see. All right. I'm just going to go off the grid here. And this is looking like... <laughs> Yes. Uh, I think I'm going to pretend there's one there. Oops. Oops. And if I had more room, do you know what I think I would do? Is I would put some of the simple black ones in which I may still do just to sort of fill it out without getting crazy here um, I think I'll put one in here now I'm just improvising which is absolutely fine Oops. And hmm. Uh I don't hate it. It's really not my cup of tea though. So I'm gonna call that it. It's um once again. It's not really my tangle, but that's okay. We gave it a shot. It's going to be interesting in here. Interest anyway. And I'm going to put a little bit of graphite right here along the original one. I'm going to be judicious here. That's a mess. And just use it here and there. And I will probably get my find my mono eraser and pull some of this out. But I will definitely be finding the eraser and pulling some of this out simply because I just overwhelmed it a little bit too much. I think if I had to do this again, I would use some line weight on this in it as opposed to in fact I might still do that. Um, come in with my pen and do a little bit of inking in, instead of the so wait my corners And that might give me the drama that I'm needing from graphite that I don't really have the room for. So um, the day is coming very soon when I when I get my pen and paper out and just have some fun with this with with uh, embellishing. So um, that's where I'm going to leave it today. Not real happy with that one, but you know it is what it is, and we're going with it. So come back tomorrow for our sixth, our six weekend, no, our six week, okay, I'm going to stop. So come back tomorrow for a new weekend's Tangles, and uh, we'll see what I come up with for you. I had one person request ribbon Tangles, so that's